running uh, lean transformation in our company, which is Tieto. So, um, to the agenda. At first, we would like to set some context, introduce ourselves and our company, and get to the context of why we decided for lean in our company. Uh, then we will introduce you to a practical framework that we use for uh, transformation of uh, single value streams and then how we make ripple effect and make it uh, corporate wide. We will talk about results that we have achieved and of course we will share lessons learned and challenges and hence how to, how to overcome these challenges. So at first let me introduce Tieto, which is a Scandinavian company and uh, we are talking about 18,000 people all over the world. So you can imagine most of our projects are distributed. It's quite a big challenge. Tieto is an IT service provider. So uh, we are taking care of uh, applications of uh, big customers like NSN, Nokia, Sony Ericsson, uh, some uh, from energetic sector, paper and uh, forest industry and so on, and many others. So who we are? My name is uh, Martin Chmel. So my name is Jaroslav Procházka, uh, working with the team as Marty. So how did this lean transformation start? What was the background? Of course, uh, we have our customers and uh, we have to make some profit to stay in the business. And unfortunately, the results uh, haven't been uh, such as uh, our top management uh, would really welcome. Second thing is that uh, customers, they demand more. They have always demanded, but uh, nowadays it's about more partnership. We started as like guerrilla team uh, in our company to implement Agile, but this is great opportunity with, uh, when customer comes. So customer very often doesn't talk with single developer down there. Customer talk with you know CEO and those guys up there. So this is the push that came from the top, and finally it somehow met with the pool that we created from the from the bottom. So this is one of critical component: the push or the demand from the customer side to create the environment for the change. We start started to talk about change and to change to culture. And this is something very important and at the same time very challenging. So the idea is to stop this short-term thinking and replace it with long-term thinking culture. Not sacrificing long-term results and uh, business and relationship with customers only for short-term profit or quarter profit. And this is basically what Lean is talking about, about looking at uh, the big picture, seeing things as a whole and optimizing the flow and doing it together. And of course, for that, we have to think about how to get there. What could be the strategy? The point here was the long-term sustainability. So these are two things connecting. This bottom-up implementation, where those changes are done by concrete teams they are solving concrete problems, they are owning the change, they are making the decisions. But when they encounter something they cannot change, something which is in the corporate environment, some rules, policies, then they have attention of top management. And for that, we have invented very concrete framework how to make the change happen, how to do this lean transformation in one specific delivery, starting with customer, ending with customer, and focusing on the whole chain. So, uh, how it looks like. Let's uh, describe each of the phases that we have in more details, but here is the big picture. So basically we have four phases and we are mostly involved in the first, second and partially in the third one. So the first one is introduction. This means this is the way how we get to the team, how we set up the environment, prepare all the uh, things that needs to be in the place, like preconditions. The second one is focus, and this is mostly about the Kaizen workshop that we do and that we will explain in more details. And uh, the third one is continuous improvement. In this area, still we do only coaching. We don't do advising, even sometimes we provide some training to the lean or of the lean. So we don't provide the solutions. We just ask nasty questions. So what do you mean is the value? Why you do it this way? Uh, you know, what was the obstacle when you presented those improvements? Why it didn't work? So uh, this, is, this is the approach how we do this. But in this case, we try to involve uh, people from the delivery and train the internal coach there, the local change agent that will do uh, or take care about the sustainability. And the last but not least, really important phase is called independence, when the team is improving without any other, other help from outside, uh, from our team or any different team. So let's focus on those components, and the first part is introduction. So the key goal of, of this basic uh, session uh, is 
to make people take care or make people interested to ask more. So basically the pull is the key word. You know, we already explained that push does not work, push from the top. So only when people pull uh, for your help, this is uh, something that can succeed. Two mechanisms that serves for it is a lean game and lean awareness. So uh, this playing with the Lego demonstrates the, the key principles, lean principles, but also theory of constraint. Very important point here is experience. Okay, so this was the first phase, introduction, where we create awareness and build some motivation. Second is uh, focus phase or kickoff phase. And for that, we have an amazing tool, which is called Kaizen Workshop. So it has uh, two days format. The agenda of the first day is, uh, as you can see it, some introduction and motivation of people. And uh, there comes very important leadership point that their leader will really introduce why we are here, that it's important and why it's important and what all of us are trying to achieve together. Then we visualize what is happening, going for value stream mapping, identify issues, prioritize them, uh, analyze root causes, and the first day usually ends up with social event, uh, typically dinner. So the first thing is to find out what is our common goal. We have customers here, they have some needs. They are expecting us to deliver some working solution that will satisfy these needs. So we have group of key people along the whole value delivery chain from customer to customer. We have them at the workshop and we know what is our common goal, what is the value for customer, what we want to deliver together. The idea here is uh, that uh, we need to compile a common map. We really need to understand how we are working together. Of course, when we know what we do, let's discuss what are the problems there. What is hindering us from getting to the goal? So different people, again, different perspectives and different problems. So we put it together and prioritize. We are looking for the real bottleneck. What is the biggest thing that is causing problems to us? What's behind? What's the problem behind problem? And for that, we use a simple technique of five whys in most cases. So basically, it's just about asking why the problem is here. So we agree about the root causes and then the promised social event. People meet together, they talk together, they realize that they are all human beings and they build some social relationships. Then the second day. On the second day, we have the root causes. So we are now brainstorming solutions. What would be the ideal state when those root causes have gone and everything works without those problems? So we brainstorm long-term solutions, we define Kaizen steps, and agree how we will continue. Anyway, what is important here that uh, people know how it solves their problems because they went together through this thinking process. We don't want to stay with analysis paralysis. So we discuss, because the power is in acting, not in planning only, we discuss what could be the very next steps, what could be the first concrete steps in direction of long-term solution that we can start with, even today, tomorrow, next week, and then the continuous phase is called continuous improvement. And the key part of this is doing the work, doing the job. So the key idea here is to have regular follow-ups. Very often we do it weekly, very often be weekly. This is just very short uh, session when we go through existing A5s, A3s, prioritize on them because, you know, keeping the focus and limit the work in progress as one of the key lean practices. So that was the continuous improvement phase. So we stay uh, still in, with uh, the team and helping them to drive this, supporting them, coaching, mentoring, sharing experience, sometimes helping to solve them concrete problems. And then what we want to really achieve is this independence phase, which means that uh, the team can work on their own. They are used to do it. They have it built in their, their daily way of working. They know how to do it. And they have those internal coaches uh, who support them and who really make sure that they will find time for sharpening the eggs and they will not leave this way of thinking and working. And let's start with the results. Uh, yes, uh, here I would like to mention that, uh, of course, it's bringing results. But what is very important is not to let anyone to sacrifice long-term results for short-term results, which is very difficult in this Western-driven economy where you get from shareholders through board of directors, CEO, top management, and it falls down and down and down. It's very difficult, and that's why you really need to get support of uh, your executive management and really making them to understand this and believe this so they will start to protect you from this kind of push because it really needs some time. We are talking about sustainable long-term changes. And we have seen that it really works because in some cases the improvement is 
sorry, the improvements are really significant. So 20% EBIT increase uh, in one year, 60% uh, in four months when we shorten the lead time. Okay, so what is it in this approach that we think really works and makes the difference? It's the strategy, as we mentioned, which means bottom-up approach, having specific pilots change outbound teams with top-down support, and having glue made of these coaches and mentors.